Okay, so next we're going to do the, uh, the Joker effect. So I'm going to do something that uh, uses, uh, creates a face mask. So, um, so I'm going to start it first off by just adding this face tracker like we did before. And I'm also going to add this thing called a face mesh. So this is a stock, this is kind of built into the software. You could uh, build your own version of this, but in order to make it um, actually deform with the face, you'd have to kind of wire that all up. This is all sort of predefined to kind of work within Spark. And what this face mesh is, is it's just basically a, a 3D object. I can actually just you know, take it off of the face, or sorry, so just so it doesn't move with the tracker. And you can see that it's basically just a, um, just a 3D mesh of a face, kind of like a mask. And then when you uh, do use it in conjunction with the face tracker, it just, it just maps really nicely together. Um, and, uh, and you can see, hopefully you can see a little bit, it's hard with the checkers, but it also deforms to, as I was saying, all those points on the face that it tracks, like the edges of the mouth and the eyes and so on. Um, so even though uh, your face is going to be a different shape than this kind of generic face uh, model, it'll, it'll distort it to kind of fit your face because it tracks those features on your face. So it works really, really well. And I'm just going to kind of talk about this for a second, uh, just the, the next thing I'm going to do. So uh, how many of you have actually worked with like 3D software? Yeah, quite a few. So you have some idea what I'm talking about if I say like UV coordinates, that kind of thing? Yeah. Okay, so uh, for those of you that have it, I'll just sort of explain it quickly. So basically when you take a 3D, uh, 3D model, a polygonal model, and you, you um, want to put a texture on it, you basically have to tell, um, you, have to dis you have to tell the texture at what point in the texture, you know, uh, where does that fit on the, on the 3D model. And so uh, that's do done through something called uh, generating UV coordinates. So basically you can think of this as like an unfolded version of that face mask. And really the only reason we care about this is that, and there's, there's sort of what it would look like on the face mask, um, is that this allows us to now to give us some reference. So we can take this kind of unfolded texture, uh, reference texture, and bring it into something like Photoshop and then just basically draw on it, or draw it like on a layer above it, and then, uh, and then create our face mask. And we know that that face mask is going to match perfectly over whatever part of the face we happen to be drawing on. And so here it is. Uh, so that's sort of what it would look like if I had the whole texture on the face, and there is with, uh, you know, what I'm actually trying to get at is just using that for reference and then, and then getting it on the face. So the, the effect that I've done here is uh, uh, just kind of trying to get that sort of Heath Ledger Joker mask thing going. And I just kind of grabbed a picture off the internet, don't tell anybody, and, uh, <laughs> and, just, and, and, and just kind of um, you know took it into Photoshop, doctored it a bit, copied bits, painted bits, and used that kind of face mesh as a reference. And, um, and so that I can create this kind of uh, joker effect. And there it is without the, without the mesh. And so if I just go and change the material here on my face mask, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and create a, uh, create a material called joker. And then I'm going to apply a, a texture to it. So I'm going to change basically the color of the material to be replaced with the texture. Joker one here, and then I have to apply that to my face mask. Okay, so you can see that there are, it's kind of like you've got one of those Halloween masks that uh, you, know, you got in the dollar store that's got the you know, Joker on. Um, and, because you can see the edges of it, but it does fit the face perfectly, and unlike the Halloween mask, it will deform with your face, so it's kind of like, what was that, that the movie The Mask, I guess, did that. Um, so it's sort of creepy, but... Uh, Let's just leave it at creepy. Um, <laughs> now, uh, the, I, we sort of, I, I talked about that sort of basic type of material that has all the sort of standard maps like transparency and normal and et cetera, et cetera. Um, but there are a couple of materials that are specifically for doing just very specific things. And there's one in here called face paint. 
which, uh, which is for that. And so it really just makes it easier for someone who doesn't want to deal with those other types of maps to, to kind of get this effect to look good. And so it, again, it's specifically for doing this kind of thing. Now, the, the one thing that, um, that this isn't doing right now is you can see that the, the edges are, uh, are very hard. So it still looks like a kind of a plastic mask. And basically what I need to do is to adjust the, um, the, the alpha channel on that. And I have a handy slide for that too here. So again, um, so if I've got my original texture, which you saw how I got there through kind of using the reference, um, what I'm gonna create there is something called an alpha channel, which is basically transparency information. And combine that with the main texture so it's gonna determine uh, which parts of the texture are transparent. And then you end up with something like this, where you get kind of like a, a, te a texture that has transparent edges. And if I take that as my, my texture, Load that up. Uh, so I've got this one here. Then you can see that now it actually looks pretty darn good. And you did all that in Photoshop? Uh, well, just creating the texture. Yeah. So it's just, um, it's just basically taking a text, you know, using the reference, um, painting something, and then uh, and then you know applying a mask, mm -hmm. uh, an alpha channel to it, and then that's basically it. And that's. It's that, it's that quick to get this sort of thing up. So if you want to, you know, like, do the KISS revival or something, right, you could, like, get all your friends. Uh, <laughs> um, I'll just show you here. And again, you can try this one if you go through the link. So here it is. I mean, is there a limit of how many faces? A black metal phase. Part, part. It's two. You can do two faces? Yes, you can. You can do multiple faces. I haven't actually more tried that, two? but I, I've seen it done. Can you do so. more than two? Uh, good question. I know that when you when you do multiple faces, you get kind of like you can access them by like the number, like it'll figure out which face. Uh, but I haven't actually done that myself. Come on, get rid of me here. There we go. Um, all right, so that's uh, the Joker effect. Um, the next one I'm going to do is uh, just taking a look at the distortion. So again, you can see how quick and easy it is to do. 